Hello, my name is David Buchanan. I'm responsible for the vision systems in the company Vision and Control. In this video, I want to explain you uh, the network settings uh, that are necessary to connect your VCWIN software on your laptop with your Vicus's vision system or other vision systems you can buy from Vision Control. In my case, I have a Vicosys 5400 on my desk. This is identical to the Vicosys 5300 in terms of uh, network settings. So uh, we can see here this vision system has uh, multiple interfaces. It's necessary that you understand uh, which port is uh, used for what. So I would like to give you a short explanation. In the first step, we can see here there's a LAN 1 and a LAN 2, um, as well as several other uh, ports for the camera interface. So we want to look now first at the LAN 1 port. Uh, that is the port that is intended to be uh, the network connection for a fixed setup. So uh, basically if you um, insert this Vicosys system in your machine, it will be um, often useful to have a network interface connected permanently. So this LAN 1 is um, intended to be a fix or to, intended to have a fixed IP. It is um, by default this 192.168.3.180 IP address. So that is the default fallback address of this uh, port. Um, but it's also set to DHCP. Um, in the beginning, so we'll try to find some company network and if it does not uh, find one, then it will fall back to that IP. The actual IP it got um, it can be easily seen during the startup process of the Vicosys. So if you boot your device, you will see on the monitor the IP of this LAN 1 port. Um, then we have, of course, here the LAN 2 port. The LAN 2 is uh, intended to be a service port uh, for your laptop. So you can um, set your laptop on automatic IP detection and uh, connect it with LAN 2. Then it will uh, negotiate um, over this local link protocol some IP and it will get some IP with a 169 uh, network. Um, so if that has been set, you can also uh, connect with your Vicosys from your laptop. Um, if these camera ports are only used for Guinicam cameras, so Ethernet cameras that support this Guinicam protocol, uh, they have PoE and they cannot be used to connect to your system. Um, to explain the other interfaces, uh, I can go through quickly. One, uh, yeah, you have here two RS-232 interfaces that can be used. Um, then um, CAN interface, for that you need a special license. Um, you have some digital IOs um, which are on board available and some USB ports where you can attach this Vicostick uh, backup system as well as a keyboard. And uh, here you see you have a monitor output, a 24 volt supply and here are several options to insert additional interface cards. There's one option uh, to also add a Profinet card. Of course, this will also have then some Ethernet ports, but they also cannot be used to connect your device. So they are only used to connect directly with your PLC and talk with them via Profinet. So basically, we can only choose LAN 1 or LAN Pro 2, depending on uh, your wishes. And if you come to the laptop, um, I would recommend to know your IP address of your uh, system. The most easiest way, in my opinion, is to click on the start button. This also works with Windows 10 uh, and hit the uh, CMD on your keyboard. So you get a first suggestion, Eingabe Forderung or um, command terminal, uh, which you can uh, so select and then you have a terminal open where you can insert the command ipconfig uh, 
So it will show the IP addresses of all your network interfaces. So you see something like an Ethernet adapter and uh, can check the IP4 address. In my case, I've set it to 192.168.3.170. So this is able to um, connect with the 192.168.3.180 default IP form of the Vicosit, um, which has been set by default because I'm directly connected with a LAN cable. Um, so uh, to verify this, I can also use the ping command. So 192.168.3.170, no, 180, sorry. Uh, so it will receive some response. Okay, um, if you look in your VCWIN, we have here several options to search for devices. Uh, a very easy one is here to use this search button then it will automatically send some ARP request and all uh, connectable devices will respond. Um, you can um, here also select the interface. So for this, you get this dialog, which can also be accessed by communication interface. So that's the same dialog um, where you can make your communication settings of VCWIN. Um, it's important here to select the Ethernet TCP IP. This is the settings um, for all these network devices or like, like uh, Vicosys and also Smart Camera Pictor series. If you have an old fashioned Pictor M with some serial interface, of course, you have to select the serial interface and then it set your uh, RS232 settings for it. Or even if you have a Pictor T series with the USB, you should select this uh, USB interface um, option. There are options also to select here the simulator and configure it, but for that we have an extra video. Um, yeah, you can configure uh, your network settings here in this TCP IP um, dialog. Um, the most convenient way to do something is here to select this find button. This will more or less do the same as here, this double arrow from the very beginning. And you will see here the find um, the found devices with the serial number and the comment in the net. So that's a good sign that we can really access it. Um, if that doesn't happen, then please check your network configuration uh, that your laptop is really able to connect with IPs of the um, Vicosys. If we want to change this name to a more convenient name, we can select here an entry and uh, give it some new name, uh, hit modify, and then it will change the name in our list. So this will be stored for next time. Um, when we connect here with a connect button, first we can see that it works <laughs> during all the uh, due to all the active buttons now. And we can send uh, here, no, we can modify here the IP settings of the system. So we change, uh, we can enter here the dialog to change the IP address by hitting this change the IP address of the vision system. Here we get a warning that if we insert a wrong IP address setting, it can be possible that we don't connect or we are not able to connect to the system anymore. But um, you should know this is only valid for LAN 1. So anyway, we will be able to connect via LAN 2 to the system using this local link um, mechanism. So here we select yes. And here we see uh, the IP settings. Um, here we can change this DHCP search in the beginning of the system to a, a simple static IP address, uh, which is recommended if it is a fixed IP address and later on installed um, in the machine. But by default, it will be always set to DHCP and static IP address. So you see here also the default IP that was given to the system if it comes out from our production department. And uh, here you can change the IP address, the subnet mask, and you can give it also a gateway. 
So um, that was basically my video uh, to set up the network interface. If you have some time, you can check out the next video um, concerning pixel count uh, and small uh, subprogram writing to get a basic structure inside your uh, inspection program. And I hope uh, you liked the video. So see you next time. Bye bye.